Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at more shower thoughts. Yeah, let's just get right into the video. The part of the ugly duckling no one ever mentions is that after a lifetime of bullying, the duckling grows into a swan, the undisputed biggest asshole of the bird kingdom. <laughs> right. They're just pretty, but they're so mean. <laughs> What even was the moral of that story though? Like don't bully or just wait for your time to shine? Nearly everyone values a human life over the life of a fish, but a few people value a single human life over the life of every fish, meaning everyone has a certain number of fish that they would prefer to be alive over Steve from work. <laughs> That's very specific. It's always a Steve. There's a chance that someone you will know will use your death as an excuse to get out of a social obligation they don't want to go to. Oh, everyone's grandmothers be like, mm? I didn't know I was dead. As an identical triplet, you are simultaneously one of the rarest and most common people on the planet. Oh, oh that's so true. It's very rare to have three people identical. But then it's very common because there's three of you. Interesting. I've always thought how cool it was to have a twin though. A guy walking around with one crowbar is more suspicious than a guy walking around with three crowbars. Yep. Hmm. Or the serial killers be like, huh. Your baby teeth are out there somewhere. Oh, wow. Haven't even thought about my baby teeth for like 10 years and more. What in the world? No, I think my grandpa has some of my baby teeth. I think I always gave it to him because, yeah, why did I do that? Why did he collect my baby teeth? I feel like a lot of people's parents collect their baby's teeth too, though. Like, is there a reason for that? Googling something truly is a skill. Some people are much better and faster at finding more accurate results than others. That's me. That's me. Okay, I am the queen of Googling. <laughs> I always Google everything. Like even if I know what something means, I'll Google it to be sure. I love Googling. Stories usually put horns on evil or scary creatures, but in nature, only herbivores have horns. What the heck? I've never thought about this before. That's so true. Wow. Imagine a freaking lion with a horn. Oh my gosh. Ew. Imagine an alligator with a horn. Oh my gosh, that's freaking scary. Hey, if they really did have horns, you can spot them all the time. But they're so freaking sneaky. The last kid to leave the school bus knows where everyone lives. Oh. <laughs> if anyone gets robbed, you know who... <laughs> I'm kidding. A bus 10 minutes early is worse than a bus 10 minutes late. True. Never thought about this though, but so freaking true. <laughs> It's always so embarrassing running for the freaking bus. I've done it like probably every single day when I was going to uni. And then you get on and everyone's just looking at you. And you're just like, thanks. Beep. Both cheeks in our bodies has a big hole in between them. Oh. And the butthole. Okay. Why? Who? Thought of this. Someone getting a tattoo that they don't even like and spending 50 years whining about how much they hate it would obviously be considered an idiot. But marrying someone you don't even like and spending the rest of your life whining about it used to be considered normal. Huh. Well, hopefully now people are more wise to not do this. It's strange how a flat moon conspiracy isn't more popular since we only ever see one side. Oh. I can't deal with people who think the earth is flat. Children think adults have all the freedom and adults think children have all the freedom. <laughs> That's true, hey? Because when you're a kid, you're controlled by your parents and you're not allowed to do this and you're not allowed to do this because your parents are protecting you, right? And then when you're an adult, you just want to be a kid again because there's just too much responsibility. You got to deal with everything yourself and you just wish you never grew up. Wiping your butt feels more like checking if your butt is clean than actually cleaning your butt. Ugh. Yeah, your butt is not clean after wiping it. You gotta wash it too. <laughs> Finding gray hair is a sign of youth. Older people don't have to find it. It's just there. <laughs> I don't think I've ever found a gray hair on me before. I mean, I've found like a yellow hair 
or like a red hair on me before. Like what the heck, why? You're legally allowed to throw someone's ashes in the ocean, but not their corpse. This just reminds me of a video where someone was trying to throw someone's ashes in the oceans because that's what the will said. But when they were throwing it, the wind blew so hard, it just blew back into their faces. <laughs> Trying to carry your groceries in one trip is probably the most effortful form of laziness. It's the best form of laziness, okay? Maybe the reason we haven't had any visitors from the future is because we have no future. Oh, 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 I'm mind blown. Oh no, what if? Man, I really hope like time traveling does exist. <laughs> Water is technically what a rainbow tastes like. Oh, right, because the rainbow is just water reflecting from the sun thingy. <laughs> I don't know. In gaming, repeatedly crouching when you first see someone is a sign of friendship, but repeatedly crouching after you kill them is a sign of disrespect. Oh, if you guys play first person shooter games, you would know about this. I freaking hate it when someone does this. <laughs> Honestly, it gets on my nerves. I guess that's why people do it. To get on your nerves. The gay flag is a rainbow. A rainbow is a curve. A curve is not straight. <laughs> wow. Nice. Millennials are the panda generation. They're too depressed to have children, even though people want them to. <laughs> cool. I love pandas. Your childhood ends the day you realize that sleep is a reward and not a punishment. Sleep is just so freaking amazing, honestly. I love sleeping. Why did we all whine when we had to go to sleep, honestly? <sighs> Kid me is just so stupid. There are very good odds that you've never been naked for 24 hours straight in your life. Yeah, I've never. Who? Who would be, though? I'm trying to think. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, I do know there are some people who are like completely naked in their houses. And I guess maybe on the weekend, if they don't feel like going anywhere, they just don't put on any clothes for like the entire day. Ah, oh, that's kind of weird. I don't think I could. I just feel weird. You know, being naked in your own house. Even if there's no one there, it would just feel <laughs> weird to me. <laughs> like, oh, it's just weird, man. I guess in my mind, it just would always feel like someone's watching. <laughs> that's freaking weird. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.